Good morning, my name is <clears throat> Good morning, my name is Lewis, and today I'll be talking about sleepwalking. So more than 8.4 million Americans sleepwalk each year, studies find. Sleepwalking or synambulism, as it's known, is a disorder that occurs when people walk or do another activity while they're asleep. It most often occurs during deep non-REM sleep. I went every person has been in a sleepwalker at least once in their lifetime, even though you may not think so. It usually occurs early in the night. It is more common in children than adults. I want you to answer me this. Have you ever sleepwalked? Well, I guess you might not remember now, but apparently sleepwalking is very common in all children, but they grow out of it in their teens. Like for me, for example, my mom told me I was a sleepwalker when I was actually 10, and I used to open my door, go to the bottom of our house, and then I try to open the front door so I could get out. Then she, all of a sudden, she heard the door and thought somebody was breaking in. And when she went down, it was just my little body like trying to open the door furiously. So she had to pick me up, put me back to bed, and then she had to stay up all night to make sure nothing happened. The three main points I'll be talking about are what is a sleepwalker, and the, and the myths and realities, what are the symptoms and causes of sleepwalking, and the diagnosis and treatment. First, let's begin with the main point. According to a Mayo Clinic, sleepwalking is a disorder in which people walk while they are sleeping. It's very obvious. This occurs in deep, in the deepest stage of sleep. It's unlikely to occur during naps, since naps are very short. Synambulism lasts several minutes or more. The sleepwalker will probably not remember the event of sleepwalking. If synambulism talks, the words they make will be slurred and they won't make any sense. According to an unexplainable.net report by Benny Genifari, on March 28, 2007, sleepwalking is a fascinating and popular activity that has been portrayed on television and shows and movies. And because of this popular interest, some misinformation has developed. So let's take a look at a few myths and realities of sleepwalking. So, most sleepwalking is done by adults. That is false. That is false. The truth is that sleepwalking is more likely to occur during children aged 6 to 12. It is likely more common in boys and runs in families. Myth number two, sleepwalking happens while you're dreaming. Not true. Sleepwalking is likely to occur when you're very deep, non-REM sleep, which is, you, which is usually early in the night. It's very dangerous to awaken a sleepwalker. That is not true. It's not dangerous at all. When a sleepwalker is awakened, they may be confused or disoriented, but it's recommended so you may help them so they don't get injured. And to my other point, a sleepwalker can be injured. The reality is they can be injured. Some are even driving and there are even car crashes and even murders of people sleepwalking. And to my next point, the symptoms and causes. There are many symptoms and causes that cause the lead to sleepwalking during early in the night. Sleepwalking occurs after falling asleep. It does not occur during naps. If a member of the family is sleepwalking, it's probably that another member will sleepwalk. It can go undetected for a very long time Someone who is sleepwalking may not respond well, communicate with others well. It can be difficult to wake them up and probably feels disoriented. They won't remember anything. They have sleep terrors, which is not to be confused with nightmares. That sleep terrors only occur to children. And sometimes a person who is sleepwalking will get dressed, talk, eat, get out of the house, and even drive a car. And finally, as I draw to my last point, according to sleep disorders and sleeping walking from Med Online in 2011, treatment for occasionally for occasional sleepwalking isn't actually necessary because like I said, children grow out of it. But sleepwalking can lead to potential injuries if they fall down the stairs. Treatment generally focuses on what triggers the episode and the treatment may include medications such as benzodiazepines or antidepressants identification if sleep deprivation or medical condition and find the treatment for the condition. A specialist of sleep is the only one who can recommend the pill or any medication. No, no more doctor can do it. Or a mental health professional can help the patient for any suggestions to improve the sleep. And as I conclude, I wanted to say that every person has been a sleepwalker at least once in their lifetime. Sleeping usually occurs early in the night and is more common in children than adults. Any person can be a sleepwalker because of stre stress or even a medical condition. And before I go, I want you to leave you with this quote. If your future depends on your sleep, then go to sleep. <laughs>